All right, today I'm going to be playing some Commander Keen episode three. This time I'm going to finish up the Invasion of the Vorticon trilogy and share my experiences about this game. Of course, we're not going to be playing with sound, with the exception of my uh, voice, of course. Now, to be honest, I call this episode the most disturbing of all the uh, Vorticon episodes. And you're going to see why. Uh, provided if I can get to it. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that the version I'm playing... Two of the item scores got swapped, as you can see. I believe it was with the chocolate bars and the burgers. Where originally it was supposed to be the candy bars were supposed to be worth 100, and the burgers were supposed to be worth 500, but the score numbers got swapped. Which makes this, in my opinion, the most exploitable. Of course, honestly, whenever it comes to exploitation, I mean, a bug is one thing, and a glitch is another thing, but if it just comes down to pure exploitation, then that's not cool. Like for, like I said before, the points being swapped, which means it makes it easy to farm extra lives. Ironically, you're going to need every single one of those lives because, well, you're going to see why. Now, I mentioned in my review that, like I said before, this is the most disturbing episode. And like I said before, you're going to see why I say so. Of course, I'm not going to waste time getting everything here because that's not what this vlog is about. And this is the one thing I absolutely hated is all these teleporters. Just when you think you're making progress, you end up going elsewhere, backtracking, and so on and so forth. And of course, once again, we got these little, uh, Vorticon kids to deal with. Yeah, as you can see, this this episode in particular, I think, is just a little too generous with the shortcuts. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Oh, yeah, there's this part right here. Yeah, whoever came up with this design right here must have had a really dirty mind. As if that wasn't obvious. And, of course, there's this level. Uh, once again, who just got lucky there? Of course, I find it kind of funny that, uh, whoop, as I was saying, I find it kind of funny that these uh, highly trained uh, so called quote unquote ninjas are just getting beaten down by some kid with a uh, with a football helmet. Yeah. As you can see, uh, more exploitation. 
Oh, except for here. Looks like to me, they don't really pose that much of a threat. Looks like they're doing the uh, funky chicken dance. I mean, who trained these guys anyway? Yeah, outsmarted by a kid, huh? No, I was that close. But that's okay, that's a level you didn't need to complete anyways. Yeah, yeah, so you can see, I'm already at the end. So this kind of makes you wonder, uh... What's the point of uh, going through the whole uh, map if you're just going to beat the game in less than 15 minutes? Yeah. I mean, the purpose of a game is to uh, have longevity. And this particular episode actually didn't seem to grasp that notion. And as, as I said before, once again, exploitation. Instead of going through the whole level, why not just go around it? Whoops. Well, that's that's all right. I suppose I could get, just give it maybe one more go. I mean, if I was a game designer, I would actually go back to the drawing board and just redesign everything. You know, make the game less exploitable. I mean, the challenge is there, but uh, well, never mind. I'm not gonna waste my time. Uh, I'm trying to get up there. I was saying? Oh yes, as I was saying before, yeah, I'm not gonna waste time. Uh, uh, ex yeah, I'm not gonna waste time getting something that really doesn't serve a purpose. And speaking of which, here, uh, like I said, not to not to spoil anything or anything, but uh, this is the last level right here, if you can believe that. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna show you on the status screen. Yeah, only gained one life. I have 40 shots. Will I be able to beat this final level? Well, we'll see. But there is actually one thing, if time permits, I'm just gonna show you. But we'll give it a shot here. In fact, yeah, as you can see, I'm already at the end boss. Now, it can't be. Mortimer McMire. Yeah, a forgotten character who's just disappeared in the uh, just ran the sands of time. Mortimer has been a thorn in your side for as long as you can remember. Your IQ test score was 314, which is five, by the way. Mortimer was a 315. He always held that over you, never letting you forget for one day. What kind of grudge is that? I mean, at one point IQ difference... Oh, for God's sakes. All the practical jokes, the mental cruelty, the swirlies, each memory makes your teeth grit hard. Jesus Christ. And now he's out to destroy Earth. You have had enough. Wow. I mean, it's bad enough that he's a bully, but for this sort of thing here? All right, Mortimer, what's the problem? Why destroy Earth? You and all those mental wimps deserve to die. Wow. I'm the smartest person in the galaxy. Aren't I, Mr. 314? Ah ha ha. Jesus Christ. Oh, get you for that, Mortimer! Brother, come and try. You'll never get past my hideous mangling machine. Prepare to die, Commander Clown. Honk, honk. Yeah. I, I did that one on purpose because I just can't get over that. I mean, the dude's holding a grudge just because he's got one point higher IQ. What? Well, all right, let's stop beating around the bush and let's just get to it. Dang it. Just a little too slow that time. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. We already know about this. And these little green guys right here. I mean, they're pretty cool, but... uh.
And again, the first three is not a challenge at all. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I have forces come to us. I could always just leave and come back. Got it. And then this part right here is very tricky because he's just marching in place. Uh, I'm just going to march in place, not thinking about a single thing. Why? Because I can. And see so bet you can't kill him from the inside also. Oh, that's right, I can stand here. Cool. No, I was so close. No. Well, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'll come back. Because what I need to do is uh, exploit once again. Find a bunch of candy bars and just exploit their uh, sweet chocolatey goodness. I mean, 500 points a pop here, yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to waste my time with there. Yeah, like I said, had I not screwed up in that little section right there, I would have beaten the game already. And this would have been the shortest vlog in the history of uh, vlogs. And these red balls here, I just absolutely hate them. You little... Ugh. That's another thing I uh, didn't like about this episode, is that some of the levels are really short. Oh yeah, there's this, but I am not going to go that way. Because I'm just not that kind of person. And I didn't feel comfortable uh, when I was making the recording for the review of uh, recording that section. I said, guys, well, you know. And oh yeah, there is a shortcut to the skies. That's right. Right here. There we go. That's how you get up there. Well, you little... You just get out of my way. Jeez. Sorry, little dude, but... You were in my way. Now, one thing I never understood about King's Gun in this game is that... I think he has, it has two settings. Stun and kill. I mean, if I understand... Cor whoops. If I understand correctly, uh... I think for the most part it's set to stun. But of course, so that's just my take. And of course, this is the, uh, Matriarch of the Vorticon family. So I guess it's safe to say that she wears the pants in the family. And plus, unlike the other Vorticons, she actually fights back.
Oh, nice. Two for one. Whoa. Okay, that's going to be a problem. Although I think I can beat this level without the key card, if I remember correctly. The answer is I believe I can. Let's see, how's my lives doing here? Alright, we're starting to come back. How much of stuff I have? Okay. I could probably go back to that uh training level and get some more uh shots. I think if I go this way. Okay, this is it right here. There we go. That was close. I think it's about a four second delay interval between shots. Oh yeah. Oh, look. No, no. Okay. All right. So now we're taking a trip on uh, good old Nessie here. Who's going to aimlessly uh, take her on the planet and give us a tour. I wonder if she's going to give him the uh, free tour or she's going to give him the, uh, the $5.28 tour. She's probably thinking right now, why is this little brat on my back? I mean... I'm not that friendly of a monster. Oh yeah, this yeah, the secret level's right there, and yet she has to take a very complicated path. I mean, what's the point of uh taking a uh taking a uh, longer path only to uh just go to where you need to go? Yeah, I found this extremely unnecessary. You could have just dropped me off here and we can call it a day. Yeah, once again, already at the end of the level. Completely pointless. I mean, I could have done it the old-fashioned way and go through the entire level, but the point of this vlog is that, uh, this is what happens when you, uh, make an episode of, uh, a trilogy to make this, and make it extremely exploitable. There's only one thing I can safely say like this, at a time like this, and that's back to the old drawing board. And as I previously mentioned, I would go back and make this episode far less exploitable, meaning you actually have to go through each level from start to finish, not start, take a huge shortcut, finish. But that's just my take, mind you. All right, let's try this one more time.
And unfortunately, you can't save in this battle because you can only save on the map, which in later King games was fixed, which means you can save at any time. No! Ay, ay, ay. Ay, vey. Ay, ay, ay. Now, before I continue, how many shots do I have? Oh, I got a ton of shots. So I'm not too worried about running out of ammo. That's for dang sure. Yeah, the yeah, the timing on this is extremely sensitive. If you don't get it right, you have to wait several seconds just for that stupid arm. There we go. To get back up, just so you can try again. Yeah, and you also have to wait a while too for a. Uh... There we go. Perfect. Super close. But the one good thing is that at least I'm glad these green monsters uh, aren't that predictable. I mean, I like that sort of thing. You know, it just makes the challenge more interesting. Oh, we got each other at the exact same time. And it doesn't count. That sucks. Yeah, so, you know what? We'll just call it, we'll just say, uh, we're both dead. We'll just call it even, you know? I save the Vorticons and I get killed at the same time. Am I considered a martyr? I mean, I don't know. You're asking the wrong person the wrong questions. Dang. And like I said before, you too bad you can't kill those green dudes from inside. That would be that would be beneficial. Boom. All right. With Mortimer McMire out of the picture and his brainwave belt no longer controlling them, the Vorticons are freed of their mental enslavement. Commander Keen, in honor of your territorious service and freeing us from the Grand Intellect's mental chains, Meritorious, there you go. And uh, the other Vorticons you haven't slaughtered. Oh, please. Want to award you the Big V, our highest honor. Oh, and don't worry. We'll get the population back up in no time. Thank you. I think that's the uh, Vorticons way of giving uh, Commander King the middle finger. 
at least in my estimation, the end for now. And Mortimer is never heard from again, and nor is he ever mentioned. The end for now. How lovely. Congratulations, you have finished the final episode in the Commander King trilogy. As you play, did you find the secret city in episode one, journey to the secret on this episode, or don't the galactic alphabet and read all the signs in all three episodes? Really? Oh, please. And of course, so, I like that little tidbit at the end. Hope you enjoyed the trilogy. I did. Oh, I'm sure, King, because I hate to break it to you, but there's more. But we'll get to that another time. The end? Question mark. You know, you can definitely say for the record that this is somewhat contradictory. Commander King says, hope you enjoyed the trilogy. I did. And then the end? Question mark. Knowing there's going to be more in store. Eh. Yeah, that just seems uh, appropriate. Um, But that's going to do it for this episode of DOS Vlog. Thank you all for listening in. And I'll see everyone next time.